Hello, my name is Corey Kamori, and welcome to Lyric Breakdowns here on the Breakdown Channel, hosted by yours truly. Let's get on with our analysis, our discussion of the song Beware the Leopard by The Safety Fire. Now, Beware the Leopard comes off of Safety Fire's second album, Mouth of Swords, which was released in 2013. Now, when diving into the lyrics of Beware the Leopard, uh, there are a few things that are noticeable right away. One, Sean has a great, great sense of how to utilize words and uh, utilize interesting wordplay with the themes and the, uh, the vocabulary that he has at his disposal. Uh, the song really makes uh, the lyricist in me very jealous. Uh, I, I absolutely love the way that he uses uh, his words and the words that he uses and the phrasing of these words in this song. It's just from a, a lyrical standpoint, it's a songwriter's uh, dream come true. And on top of that, the lyrics are very visual. The moment that you start listening to the song and you start reading the lyrics along with the song, you really start to put together a very vivid visual picture. And for me personally, that's what I always look for when trying to get into a new band or just trying to get into a band's music period end of story is I want there to be some sort of narrative. I want there to be some sort of narrative that I can piece together in my head that kind of creates a story or a movie or uh, any kind of cinematic landscape. Uh, because for me, when a lyricist is able to do that, they're able to take you to amazing places and they're able to make it so the lyrics, um, emotional content resonates more with the listener. So jumping right into the song, we hear the words, the first washed up on the shore, a body unknown, a last scream paused on its face, caught in the current, swallowing water, there is no bottom as it pulls me further. Again, if that's not visual, I don't know what is it. It's, it's very, very well laid out. And again, the words that are being utilized here create a very vivid picture in your mind as to what it is that you are witnessing when listening to the song. The song's opening, it's, it's very clear. You, it, it's from the perspective of somebody who is obviously uh, walking on the shores of a beach, uh, if you will, and they see a, a body wash up on the shore and they see this body is mangled and is contorted in a way that whatever pain that he was going through or, you know, him or her was going through, uh, is forever ingrained on their face. Moving on through the song, we hear the words, the second washed up, a pair clutching to consume each other in an endless kiss on a funeral pyre. So right here, the narrative is moving forward. We're hearing that the person who saw the first body now sees that there is another pair of bodies that has washed up on the shore. And these people have embraced each other in death and they've embraced each other in a way that insinuates that these people probably had some sort of relationship before they died. They loved each other. And as it says, they are stuck. They are in an endless kiss through death. And that endless kiss and the merger of these two people is only reinforced once they're thrown onto a funeral pyre and they are turned into one. Now, I'm not really sure whether or not there's some sort of hidden meaning to this song as to what these lines might mean from a uh, subliminal standpoint or from a secondary standpoint. It really feels to me like this song is pretty straightforward and is just trying to create some sort of narrative that uh, taps into the paranoia of people who find uh, these these dead bodies on, on the shore of an ocean, yet they don't know what the true cause of death was for these people. Was it uh, they drowned in the ocean? Was it that they were diseased and they were thrown overboard a ship? Did they try to escape whatever, maybe an island they lived on? We don't really know. All we know is, is this song is trying to tap into the paranoia of you're seeing these dead things come into your space and you're wondering what is this, what is it that this person went through? What story uh, or stories do these bodies hold and tell? Now it's funny in doing a little more research, the title of the song 
seems like it could potentially be alluding to uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because there is a scene in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where the uh, the phrase "Beware the Leopard" is spoken, and it's funny. It might be a little in joke there. If you guys want, I can uh, link down below a clip of an old version that I believe aired on uh, the BBC, if I'm not mistaken. So it might be that, it might not be that. I honestly really don't know. I think, again, it was probably just an in-joke and something that sounded cool with the guys in the band. Uh, and you know, they, they, they wanted to utilize that as their uh, title. The song itself, too, seems to kind of play on the fears that may have been associated with an event such as like the Black Plague. Uh, what makes me think of that is this line in particular, we now fear not the dead, but their formless hunter, it lies beneath. This line makes me think, well, maybe we're not actually talking about a physical beach or a physical shore, or physical water, uh, if you may. Um, instead, we are talking about a disease as it travels through the body and it slowly claims its victim in a way that is similar to drowning that person. They are they're being pulled under and dragged down and drowned by this disease that they have encountered, uh, that their body has encountered. And what also makes me think this is the next line, the holy man says, this river's bottom I've seen muddied and decayed. Broken bodies on the shore, unknowns in the night, hollow bones of buildings, beware the leopard. This line makes me think, well, maybe the hollowed bones of buildings, uh, or, you know, the unknowns in the night, the, the broken bodies on the shore, maybe these hollowed uh, buildings or the bones of buildings is actually uh, the corpses of these people that have encountered this disease that has basically just turn them inside out and they're you know they're mangled and they're they've been killed by it and they might be contagious as well kind of like the black plague i feel like that line we now fear not the dead but the formless hunter kind of reinforces that idea that maybe the song is not about physically seeing bodies washed up on shore wondering what it is that they may have gone through and they died maybe what instead is you're seeing the empty shell of somebody who has the inside of them has been uh, turned up and it's like they've been thrown and washed around through uh, an endless ocean uh, through this disease and it has killed them. And now they're just hollow, they're hollow bones, they're, they're hollow buildings because at the end of the day, our bodies are kind of like these vessels for all the, the living organisms and cells that are inside of our bodies. But what do you guys think? Did I leave anything out? Do you guys have any other uh, thoughts or ideas to add to this discussion? Let me know in the comment section below, please. Uh, let's have a discussion about this because I really would like to get your guys' input because this song, while I feel like sometimes it's kind of straightforward, other times it kind of throws you for a loop and you're like, well, wait a minute. I don't really know if it's as straightforward as it uh, seemed to be initially. So let's have a conversation in the comment section below. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video and my other videos. So thank you guys and I will see you guys next time.